Hey, welcome back to Melissa Hager TV. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, one of my favorite guests. You all know that. Karen, she's here, and it's a special day today. How exciting. It's the boy's birthday, the twins. The, the twins. twins' birthday, yep. Yes, and um, you have a whole gaggle of children. <laughs> and now you were saying it's like a confusing time because now you have to keep track of who's who. So it's, it's poor Veronica because there's Josh and Jake and Sam, and, and they're both Aprils. They're all three Aprils. And then there's Veronica in the middle, So and it's 18 months. So up until today... It's easy because they're 21, 22, 23. Well, now it's 21, 22, 24. Ooh. So Ronnie's always floating around. I'm always, it's like, so how old is Ronnie? Oh, shoot. Is it October yet? Um, no. So she's she's 22. <laughs> okay, well, no, 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 no. She's, she's 23? I don't know. In, in her birth year, I'm always messing up her birth year. Oh. Like, was it? Which, uh, <laughs> Well, that's okay. I think every mom goes through that. I I had a, a son the day after my husband's birthday, and it's coming up in May, and I was like, oh, wait, is yours the ninth or is his the ninth? Which one is which? And he's like, really? Are you serious? I'm like, I know. It's really pathetic. <laughs> How awful. Uh, so it's their 24th birthday today. I got you a couple cupcakes. I don't know if we should ship them Yay. or <laughs> we'll just indulge in them, I think. Four. Uh, I think that will be fun. Obviously, I had some yeah, leftover. Yeah, let's ship them. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy them when they get there. <laughs> they might have something growing on them. Um, and Karen, we have such a fun idea for you guys today. We're going to do something special for the boys' birthday. 24 questions about the twins. Now, I think I've done a decent job of putting these questions together. Hopefully, she can answer all of them. Uh, some of them might get edited out, and maybe you'll only see 23 <laughs> questions. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but what kind of host would I be if I didn't put a couple little zingers in there to see what the answer would be? We'll see. Are you ready for this? I am as ready as I will ever be, yes. <laughs> This will be super fun. I'm excited. Okay, so first question, easy one. Who is older? Oh. Josh. How exciting. He come out first. <laughs> Josh is older. Uh, five minutes. Oh, wow. Yep, and it's a, it says a lot about their personalities. Uh, I was in labor forever. Oh, man. It was like 36 hours. Oh, my gosh. And hard labor was probably about 12. Oh, my gosh. So finally, Josh you know, and twins, it wasn't a C-section. <laughs> so we had a neonatologist there. And every every intern, and not intern, every, uh, every person in the hospital, all the new docs and all the student docs. And all, so there were like 15, 20 people in this room at any given time. Um, but the neonatologist, as soon as Josh was born, she said, okay, just stop pushing, just wait, hold on. And she, like, manipulated Jake, and she, and she said, okay. So on the count of three, just give a little push. And I, and she just went, boom. <gasps> and here, so poor Josh was, like, in the birth canal <laughs> on the bottom being whatever he was being. <laughs> And he comes out and he's he's like, oh my god, this is what the hell! And, and here comes Jake, and his head's beautiful and his, he's round and he's just he's he's been on top and hasn't had to go through all the. And he just comes out with this big smile and these bright eyes, like, whoa, that was fun! <laughs> wow, that might help answer some of the questions later on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Yeah, so Josh is older by five minutes. Okay, so which twin was the most difficult as a baby? Mm, it depends. <laughs> Josh, she held you up first. Josh slept less. Oh, he didn't want to sleep. Neither of them. Neither of them slept more than two hours straight for like two months. Oh my gosh, Karen, I'm gonna take a um, drink for that. And and and. And Josh was usually the one that was, like, up and making noise. And then that would wake up Jake. <laughs> and, and then Jake didn't want to go back to sleep. Mm -mm. And, and it's interesting because, like, with twins, there's, you know, two schools of thought, like, always for every, everything. So for um, whether to leave them in the same crib or not, mm -hmm. some people said 
you know, leave them in the same crib, you know, eventually they'll want to separate. And some people said, oh, no, you got to separate them. Otherwise, they become dependent and they don't develop their own personalities. And so we decided to separate them. Oh. That was a bad choice. Not good? And looking back, I, that, yeah, I would have totally changed. But at the time, I thought I was doing the right thing. And so one would wake up, and they they, had, they didn't sleep as well. When they would nap, you know, some of them was like, if you're at my mom's, and they were tired, I'd just put them both on the floor on a blanket, right. and they'd just roll together, and they'd sleep wonderfully. But it, it never Aww. occurred to me. That putting them in this, and they were like, oh, they could you know, smother each other, they could do all right. this stuff. Yeah, and, we don't think about that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, looking back, I would have left them in the crib together. Yeah. Because <clears throat> eventually, what happened is the worst of all, is I said, screw it, because I was nursing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can't be up every mm-hmm. 35, 40 minutes. Oh, this one's awake. Oh, no, this one's awake. And I'm trying to get them on the same schedule. And <clears throat> so, eventually... I just kind of kicked my husband off to the edge of the bed and put pillows there and just put babies with me. Nice. And at least... Got through that. That way, they, they slept better, I slept better, and yeah. when they did wake up, it was easy. Yeah. Because I didn't have to get out of bed, get them out of the... Uh. <laughs> so... You're bringing back some terrible memories, and so, I only had one at a time. <laughs> yeah, so... But, but yeah, Jake... Jake didn't sleep either, but usually it was Joshua that was going... Hey! And Jake would go, oh, he's up. Okay, I'm up too. Well, okay, so that takes us to our next question. Did either of them have twin talk? Mm. Both of them did it? Oh my gosh. It was twin talk. Yeah. Um, It was interesting because I was beginning to worry that uh, there was something wrong because they didn't talk. They said very little until they were about three. Um, and they and they had words. They would use them on occasion, uh, but they just didn't. Yeah. Um, and finally, Kelly and I kind of started realizing that they were communicating, and it was hand signals. Oh, like sign language. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. Wow. So, so it was it was really interesting because you know there might be a word, and then something, and it was like stuff like you wouldn't. It wasn't like obvious. It was just. The little little things, that but they, they knew what it meant, and you could see that they were paying attention. It was oh my like, gosh! Oh my gosh! They're, ta- they're ta- <laughs> that's because forever we wondered the daycare. We were all like, "How are they doing this?" Because right. they would be at opposite sides, so they'd have to split them up. Because even as infants and toddlers, they would control the room. Oh, and um, everybody was like, "How? What are they? What are they doing?" Mm-hmm. There's nothing that you know. You put one here. But, in the daycare, the time out, they'd put them in their cribs. Well, they quickly stopped doing that because <laughs> they would com- they would just own the whole. Now they were up on a stage, <laughs> and they would own the whole the whole thing, the whole room. Oh my but, gosh! Yeah, but it was it was, and the only one I can remember is um, when they would when when they would want more, it would be like just a. And they would do that to me. Oh boy! I, I, I would be like, "Oh no! Oh, you're done. Would you like some more?" <laughs> yeah, okay, you know. <laughs> Can you say more? All wow, right. that's fascinating. But, but eventually, they did start talking. And yeah, and the I, I, as far as I know, they, the sign language is the hand language is gone. But the 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 looks and the that I think never went away. You can see that on stage. Right, right. There's oh, still wow. that. Ha! That's cool. Yeah. So who played sports? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> sports. Um, <laughs> we had them both in um, like they both did gymnastics and they both um, they both did dance. They wanted to dance. Um, when they were younger, and I had them in dance, and they loved that. And uh, they they both would did baseball with the summer thing, and that was a joke. <laughs> Josh Josh could hit like a son of a gun. Wow, he was really he was really good. He just wasn't interested. Mm-hmm. So like wasn't. you know, especially you know, it's two ADHD boys, and then you put them in the outfield, right? Mm-hmm. So. It, 
and they at first they put Josh up close because he threw really well too. Um, but just sitting out there, that would be so boring. They just they Josh would play with ants and ant hills and be like Josh, Josh. And Jake had there was this little girl who had a crush on Jake that figured out that he was at the field every uh-huh. Saturday. So she would come and sit along the edge of the diamond, Aww. and he'd just like sidle over there, and they just talk and be Jake, Jake, Romeo. Oh my goodness. So so that didn't last long. But when it got into you get to do this because you want to. Jake, I, I thought Jake would probably end up doing soccer. Oh, okay. As a life thing, maybe getting scholarship into college. Oh, nice. Um, because he was he was really good. Oh, wow. Really quick, um, really good ball handler, and and nice. loved the game. Oh. But high school came and the grades didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so that put that kind of put an end to that. Okay, so who got better grades? That's my next question. Um, the thing is, they're both so smart mm-hmm. and they would do things and say things at home and ask questions and, 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 uh, and they used to like watching National Geographic with mm-hmm. us and, and, and science shows and stuff. So they, they both had it, but neither of them were excited about yeah. I mean, the whole school thing. They didn't understand That's that what, you, you kind of have to you do You got to do it. <laughs> um, but when it kicked in, uh, Josh got the lead role in the school play as a freshman. Nice. And then was disqualified because of his grades. Josh. Jake, who the coach had been watching come up since he was seven, mm-hmm. was all excited to have him on the team. He had him scrimmaging with the seniors. Um, also got disqualified because of grades. So Jake went, Whatever. <laughs> I didn't want soccer anyway, and I don't care, and you're stupid, and I'm not going to perform just because you want me to. Yeah. So he was a challenge. He was a challenge yeah. just to you know get the grades. Josh went, well, screw you. <laughs> I don't have to perform for you, but you know what? I'm going to prove to you that I can do this. So Josh buckled down and, and said, yeah, I'm going to prove myself. So he ended up with better grades. So Josh technically slid by. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, who is the best driver? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam isn't in this video. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You're not holding up your flashcards. Sam is by far this... the best driver. Okay. Um, okay, we'll go with Jake. <laughs> so when they were younger... Uh, we had one of those Jeeps, those battery-powered Jeeps. Yes. Um, oh, God. And Josh would, <laughs> they, I'd make them little snacks and stuff. We got like an acre and a half, uh-huh. like fenced in. And there's like this woods over here and some woods over there. And there's different spots. So I'd make them little snacks and a little juice box. And we'd pack them up in the back. And then they'd just drive around, you know. But <laughs> But Josh always... Was the passenger? Josh would always <laughs> have Jake drive, and and Jake would be behind the wheel, and and Josh would just kick back and put his feet up on the dash, and and eat grapes eat. and drink, and and you could see him just pointing to to Jake, and Jake was really good because he could he knew how to back up. Like oh he'd wow! Put in reverse, and he knew, you know reverse is hard because it's back, mm-hmm. but he could just back and and just do anything and it was hilarious and then they'd stop and then they'd put out a little spread and they'd have a little picnic and then they'd get back in the jeep and they'd drive around but one day uh we had a pile i don't remember why but there was a pile of dirt and it was probably oh three feet high and but (laughs) they're driving and kelly and i were standing at the at the barn going what are they doing they're heading for and and josh is (laughs) Josh is sitting there pointing at it and, and got his hand around Jake. Going, and Jake's driving right for this thing. And I'm like, they're going to just ram it and stop. What's going on? And well, <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake just keeps driving. And this Jeep hits this hill and it climbs the hill and then it just goes, poof. Oh, no. <laughs> and thank God it didn't flip, it didn't roll, but it went straight on its back and stopped. <laughs> and, were, and Kelly and I were like, Oh, 
And, and, and all of a sudden you hear these two just belly <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like in their seats, just laughing so hard. And we were jacking out there. <laughs> you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can do that. You know. But it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> There's a picture somewhere. I'm, I've got a picture of them in the Jeep. I don't. I don't. I don't think I got that picture though. Those little electronic but, vehicles are pretty fun. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty fun. And of course, it has the two speeds, and we always kept it on the low speed. Yeah, and they didn't didn't teach them how they to change know. that. <laughs> they, Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> but Jake was a really good driver back then. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. Good job, Sammy. <laughs> Who's the better cook? I would say Jake is. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he used to in the, those high school years when he wasn't doing well in school and I'd wake up at 3 in the morning and hear the TV and think oh somebody left it on I'd go down there and it would actually be him oh. binge watching cooking shows oh my gosh he used to binge watch cooking shows really and he would just really like be wide awake and, and I'd go down and I'm like Jake it's a school night you were in bed. Yeah, but yeah, I couldn't sleep. And this guy, and he would start describing what he had just seen and, and the, the wow. chemistry behind him. Like, well, you do this and you add this first and you heat this up because the molecules do this. and that, So you can't have that. And, that. and so he's like learning. So he's got all this chemistry going on. Wow. But, but yeah, so he really took to it. And um, isn't, I mean, I, I dream of the day that he opens a, a, a restaurant, restaurant nice and, and does stuff because he is is really good anything grilled when they come home that's my favorite thing is like what's for dinner yeah <laughs> you're cooking for me I'm now now josh is really good he's a really good cook um he does sides great he does you know the great sp- brussels sprouts he makes an incredible lentil soup um he does a lot of indian cooking really well um but i think overall jake is the better cook is is the one that kind of puts it all together and oh that's cool yeah that's cool uh who loves animals more who's the animal lover yeah <laughs> again like i would say ronnie and sam are my biggest animal lovers okay because they're the ones that are gonna like uh have a dog all my kids are pretty much dog people um, Ronnie's allergic to cats. Otherwise, she'd enjoy cats. Um, but they're the ones that are like, you know, I'm going to spend my time with them. I'm going to take them where I'm going to go. And, and I don't care if I don't have time for them. I'm going to make time for them. Oh, cool. and Josh and Jake are more practical. Oh, okay. They're like, they both love dogs. And um, uh, there's a picture that maybe you can post later. I don't yeah. know. Um, with uh, Sam's puppy Aww. that Josh and Jake are holding. Um, but yeah, they, they love dogs, um, and just realized that with their lifestyle and yeah. it, it's just, it's, they couldn't tote it's them hard. everywhere and, and all that, but maybe someday. Um, but they are true wildlife fans. Oh, they love, um, when they go places and they're camping and whatnot, that's one of the things they love to do is just check out the wildlife and they're very concerned for the wildlife. Yeah. In, in you know our world today and and make donations and do things right, that way right right so they're they're both animal lovers oh very cool yeah very cool okay so which twin is the most reckless <laughs> you're smirking what are you thinking about you're smirking again we'll go back to the early days <laughs> so I have these these twins and, and they look very much alike at the time daycare the same daycare where they owned the room they yeah had. um so they were probably two and a half three ish and uh at home i forget what happened but they were both doing something but climbing something but jake fell and so he was scraped and bruised and then at daycare, and I'm beginning to think, oh, the daycare is going to think I have a favorite twin because Josh looks great, and Jake looks like he's been beaten. Well, then at the daycare, they have this little ramp thing, and, and Jake dr- 
drove his little you know foot truck off the edge of the ramp and got this big knot on his head and this big scrape here and the, so in this course of like I don't know six to eight months Jake was just way more daring and, and Josh would go and you could kind of see it they'd go to do something and Josh would go <laughs> like like oh I bet Jake will do it first and then I'll see and sure enough Jake would do it first and Josh would go yep that was a bad idea <laughs> And so I would go places, and Josh looked so nice, and, and Jake looked all beat to hell. <laughs> and I was like, really? It's not, it's not me? It's not me. <laughs> so I don't know if they're still like that. <laughs> what was it? Risk taker? What was the question? Reckless. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Jake kind of grew out of being totally all in. He did. But... <laughs> Got to be a little bit more careful now. A little bit more careful. Okay, so next question. Which twin has better hygiene? Are they both? They're both good at it? Always. Oh, my gosh. Always were, and which is nice. Yeah. You know, I never had to You never had stinky or, boys. Yeah, but it was kind of a pain in the ass because, you know, we don't have a huge house. You know, we, <laughs> and they're taking up the shower. And, and then we've got six people, and the, there's a bathroom in the master bedroom. And uh-huh. the, there's the, and I had dreamt that I would have my own bathroom and that the kids would use one. But that certainly didn't, didn't happen. work out. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, they... Uh, Not they, yet. Not they were yet. always very concerned. They always... Yeah, they, they, uh, they're like they were late to school because they weren't going to go to school without a shower. Right. I'm like, you took a shower yesterday. You're fine. You're late. Go. No. <laughs> okay. So I'd say yeah, both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Uh, which twin is most likely to call you first on your birthday? Joshy. Um, I'm not sure why. I mean, because they all call. Mm-hmm. But Josh is always the one that um, is most aware mm-hmm. of, of what's going on and, and what it is. And um, yeah. Nice. So he's, he's the one that will usually call first and say, hey. But Sam and Jake, Jake always does too. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Sam always. Uh, Josh, my birthday is December 15th, just so you know. <laughs> 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 call anytime. <laughs> Which twin is more opinionated? <laughs> I love when you start smirking like that. <laughs> All these things pop into my head, and I have to start going, okay, what can I say and what can I say? <laughs> um, the, Josh is, is definitely the most opinionated, and I think I think Jake has his opinions, and mm-hmm. he states them, and, and if you go, well, okay, I'm not sure I agree with that, he goes, Okay. Whereas Josh goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the way. Blah, 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 and you gotta, blah, blah, don't you see? Isn't it obvious? And blah, blah, blah. So. And he'll sell his point. Yeah. All the way home. His, he'll sell his, yeah, for sure. Um, That's funny. Joshy. Yeah. Okay. If you dropped both twins into the woods, who would last longer? Yeah. <laughs> There's no mirror in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Can't, you can't fix that hair. <laughs> It'd be slicked over in a couple of days. Uh, no, I think um, they're both uh, real outdoorsy mm-hmm. and have, um, they did this really cool thing in fifth grade. Um, uh, survival oh, class cool. sort of thing as a science teacher. Mm-hmm. And part of that, they went to a camp every – this fifth grade. Mm-hmm. You take the campers to this um, – the kids to this camp. And they learn how to build lean-tos and how to start fires in the – you know, if it was wet and raining, mm-hmm. what would you do and how would you do it and, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And they really, really grooved on that. Nice. Um, and they, they've always been outdoorsy, and we've always camped and done things. So so I think they both would do pretty well. But Jake is r- like a engineer at heart. Like he could take the Rubik's Cube at, I don't know, four or five. Really? And, and just go, wow. 
You know, it's like, what? Yeah. what? Or if, uh, things would be like I would have problems with something, like a little that I couldn't get to fix. You know, so why mm-hmm. can't I make this work? And I'd learn to say Jake. Yeah. You know, and Jake could come and look at it and fiddle with it and, and make get it, it figured make out. It work. Wow. So he his brain just works that way. So I think wow. if you draft them both out there, I think he would be able to go, okay, I need this. Mm-hmm. How can I make that? How can I design it? How can I use what I have? Yeah. To do that, I think he'd probably be a little better at that. Maybe we should submit this as their audition video for Naked and Afraid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they blur out, you know, stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, still along that line, who can build a bigger fire? You got a pyro in of either of them? Um, I. They both like really big. We have a big bonfire. Yeah. Set, so they both like building really big fires. Um. Jake was always oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Jake was always relegated mm-hmm. to being the fire builder and he's he's really good at it. Again, they were all in boy scouts. Right, right. So they know they, how. They learned all the the stuff and, but yeah, he they used to have lots of bonfires and, and I've always Jake been a pyro. Could make monsters. And just, nice. <laughs> yeah. And I would be like, it doesn't have to be that big. Right, yeah. Tone it down. Why you want this? I was always the jackal at parties, too. Like, the more I drank, the bigger I wanted the fire to be. Mm-hmm. And then it'd be like, hey, does anybody have a couch or a chair mm. or anything? Got a mattress? Let's throw that in. That'll be great. Yeah. And then it smells terrible. <laughs> well, Josh would build these sets. He was, he was always mm-hmm. making movies. And um, he would build these sets. And uh, when they were done, they'd just burn them. Burn them. Just torch them. <laughs> and so it's kind of Jake's job. <laughs> Except for the set that had to burn for the movie. Yeah. That was a trip. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so which twin has impersonated the other twin? Is there an impersonator? Oh, they both did it? The only one I know of, and, you know, the older they get, the more I learn. Yeah. Um, but they were both, again, like... Not stellar students. Uh huh. So I had them um, in Silver and Learning Center. Mm-hmm. And when you, one of the things they would do there is, you know, you you have your testing and your what whatever mm-hmm. learning the spot they were at, and you could like if you achieved this, you got points, and then they had things that you could buy with points. So Josh every week would buy something he'd earn his points and he'd buy something Mm -hmm. and jake never bought anything he let his points accumulate (laughs) so (laughs) one day (laughs) and i'm you know again i'm crazy these guys are in elementary school so i've got ronnie and sam i'm toting along (laughs) and they're boarding the car and i take them in and i got them in the car and so i'm half paying attention to life anyway and so I I take them in and check them in and okay and then they come out and Jake is pissed and Joshua has this great big nerf yeah thing that is and I'm like wow because I know he's he spends a lot of time and they're always little yeah. you know you know the top and you know, little stuff I was like wow that's really cool how how did you manage to get that and poof Jake like. He spent my money on blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm like, no. well, how did he spend your money? Well, because cause, cause he said they he was me. And, and I'm like, he said he was you. Well, how could they? I mean, it, well, it turns out that they, I, you know, I, I kind of checked him in. And then they went in there and said, I'm so no, I'm Jake. No, I'm Josh. And they did it together. And they decided to do it together. And Til it burned they him. did their whole thing. And they, and they came home. Oh, my God. Oh. And I'm like, well, maybe you shouldn't have switched places. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think he was going to do blah, 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 blah. Because he was saving for some, I think it was a guitar. Oh, a guitar my he was gosh. For. But Josh was just in his, just all, he's like, there's so much to spend. <laughs> yeah, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that fixed it and that they'd never do it again. But as I get older, I hear more, more, more stories. stories about oh yeah then there was this time when oh blah, 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 blah. yeah so yeah they definitely played that game 
Uh, okay, so which twin least likes being a twin? Who doesn't like it? Well, it kind of depends on when. <laughs> They're both up again. Yeah, it depends, it depends on, on, on what point in life. <laughs> like, um, when it was Josh and the other Josh... Oh, Jake hated being a twin. Yeah, his name. Yeah, I'm Jake. I'm not the other Josh. Oh so man, he really hated it. Josh and the other Josh. <laughs> and then later on, when Jake was in in um, soccer, mm-hmm. and he was like this jock and this woo 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 woo, and Josh was more about you know film and things that mean something, mm-hmm. not just getting out and well. Then he hated it because Jake was getting all the accolades for being this great athlete, and Josh was like. Yeah, but my movies are great. My movies, just because we're twins doesn't mean I have to be an athlete. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so. so it kind of came and went. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting because they, neither of them outwardly wanted to be a twin. Like as soon as they could, they differentiated. Mm-hmm. They started wearing different clothes, developing different styles, different hair. Um, but their relationship is, is so close That it's like they they can't not be twins. Yeah. It's like they they know that they um I can't think they I don't think they could imagine not right being twins because they're each other's best friends. Right. And like Jake g- Josh gave up his film for Jake mm-hmm. and the band, mm-hmm. and Jake has said that when Josh is ready to do film, Jake will give up his music to mm-hmm. help Josh do film. Very cool. And I'm like, are you kidding? Music was your dream. He gave up his dream for me, Mom. Mm-hmm. So when he's ready, I'll give up my dream for him. And, and then we'll, we'll both live the same dream. Aww. Okay. So, there, you know, yeah. so there's this twin closeness that I think they both appreciate. Right. But at different points in their lives, it was Aww. challenging. <laughs> Josh and the other Josh. Yeah. I, I could see that going over well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, which twin is more theatrical? I think oh. you've kind of answered that. Yeah. Yeah, just in life. Mm-hmm. I mean, not only is he uh, interested in in movies and mm-hmm. theater and, and acting and telling stories, um, but he just is more dramatic. I mean, he can't walk into a room without going... Yeah. You know, I'm here. Awesome. Party starting. Let's and go. And his like hand, his hand. St- oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, see, I was always this big hand talker, and, mm-hmm. and people kept making fun of me, so I learned to like put them down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but when they were little, I was always a big. Mm-hmm. Hand, and I think they kind of yeah. picked up on that. And Josh never when stopped. I stopped doing it. He didn't stop. No, he it. kept going. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Who? Which twin is the action taker? Oh, that, they they again they 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 both are. Um, but I think Jake is more action oriented. Like Josh, like if something's going on, he's like the one that says, this needs to be done. This needs to be done. This needs to be done. Make this phone call, make this phone call. Yeah. And, and, and Jake isn't so overt. He's more, um, okay, well, this has to happen. This happens, So I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. So Josh makes things happen and Josh, Jake does them. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of. Yeah. And, and and they both do both, but I'd say if you're looking for a difference, then that would be mm-hmm. the subtle difference there. Oh, okay. Okay, next question. <laughs> Who is the animal lover? They are both animal lovers. Yeah? Yes. They both love them. Yes. <clears throat> um, did you already ask me if they like dogs? Did we? <laughs> <laughs> this is what... <laughs> This is what editing is for. <laughs> Who loves animals more? I already asked that. <laughs> okay, I may or may not have been drinking when I did these lists. This <laughs> list. Okay, yeah, we did already talk about that. How did I write that down twice? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I think one was more like dog stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're both animal lovers. Yes. So <laughs> so yes, they're both animal lovers. <laughs> okay, so this is twenty three and a half questions about the boys. <laughs> Who is more likely to watch a serious movie? Yeah? Josh. That's surprising. He's more um, about the message and the cinematography and and uh, 
the complexity of, of the story. And, oh, cool. <clears throat> um, Jake is more action. Yeah? You know, he's he's more, he, he wants to see something that's that's cool and entertaining. And Nice. That's cool. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Who wins an argument? Okay. Well, that's tough because they, they both kind of do, but Joshua is the one that is usually um, up front. Yeah? It's like... He just barrages, like, well, and this and this, and that and that, blah, 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 blah. And you, 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 Jake can hardly get it. You can hardly get anybody. It's like, but I think, when I think, and Jake has learned to go, well, I don't think so. And Jake goes, and then, and then, so immediately Josh wins, will win. But often, eventually, because Jake's gotten smart about it's not worth it's not it's not you're not going to gain anything by arguing at this point. Mm-hmm. So he kind of just gets his two cents worth in and just let's go and then kind of circles back later and circles mm-hmm. back later. And so um, he gets the last laugh. So he usually gets as much accomplished, just not up front. Yeah. Um. And like when they were younger. Mm-hmm. And practicing in the garage, <clears throat> I would hear them. It, we, the music's wonderful. Uh huh. And all of a sudden, the music stopped, and then you kind of hear voices, and they're getting a little louder. And it's like, oh no! <laughs> and they're ramping up, and I'd run out there, <laughs> and it'd be full on, and you're an idiot, and you don't know anything. Well, you're <laughs> stupid, and you should never even been born. And but I'm like, no, no, you can't. You can't say those. Those. It's your brother. You can't. No, no, no. And oh. and it would be it would be horrible for. Like five minutes and and the hair tor- terrible, you know. You're so stupid. No, you're so stupid. You don't even get and blah, blah. And then five minutes later, they'd be like, oh, "Dude, you're a genius." Oh my gosh, that's, that's incredible. I would never <laughs> thought about that. No, but no, you thought about this and this is excellent and this, this is going to make it all work. And and they were just like best buds and singing each other's praises and I'm like going what (laughs) (laughs) you probably could have started there that would have been awesome (laughs) and and then you wouldn't have said all those ugly things that ripped my heart out (laughs) okay but 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 they they don't do that anymore that was 15 16 17 I think by the time they were 17 18 that was it they weren't so vicious well that that kind of goes into the next question who's more passionate about the music okay well Jake was the instigator of the whole thing. I mean, for him, music was always what it was. I mean, mm-hmm. that's just, he was always going to have a life in music, no matter what it was. That's mm-hmm. what he was going to do was music. Um, he got he started the band. Um, so he he, he 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 was crawling when he first crawled over to Jake. Kelly was learning the bass, and he'd go to work and leave the bass on the ground and. Jake would go over there and start playing with it and then start wow. plucking on it and then and doing stuff. And I'd be like, Kelly, I'm not taking it away. I try to take it away, and he freaks out. Mm-hmm. So you need to put it away at night or he's going to mess with it. And Kelly was like, well, he can't hurt it. It's a bass. So there it was. And, wow. And he just never stopped. He just mm-hmm. always was interested in the sounds it made and the things he could do, and it just grew. So he's truly got the passion for the music, from the start, Josh was always more passionate about film and, and, and sending a message through media, that film. Um, but once, uh, and he tried to quit the band several times because he was like, this is not my dream. This is, you know, I'm, I, I need to, I have a message. And I need mm-hmm. to get out and I need mm-hmm. and film's the way to do that. But once they signed with the label and started getting out into the world, um, he started realizing that this was a way to get his message out. Yeah. That the music they wrote and the, the, the things that they had to say were being heard. Aww. And that, that, yeah. that people were listening and, and he was able to. Mm-hmm. So, so he is just as bad. They're all very passionate about the music. Um, they all work together, um, and w- which is interesting to me because, I mean, for boys with all and they're similar in a lot of ways but they, they all have very different ideas about things but they're they all somehow still individuals. they all can 
contribute to the music. Yeah. And it's not like somebody's writing it and somebody's doing lyrics right. and, and everybody else is just playing along. They're all integral in the whole process. That's cool. So, yeah, but so, so now I'd say the, the music is truly a, a passion for them both. But Oh, cool. Initially, it was certainly Jake. Okay, so I saved the best two for last. All right. <laughs> I hope they make the video. <laughs> Who is more likely to stay in the band longer? Okay, well, seeing as how Jake always had the passion and started the band, he would be the one that would that would stick with it if any of them did. Okay. But my take is that... Um, the, the the band won't ever break up. The, they're all, all four of these boys are brothers. They all share this passion and share this vision. Um, that being said, they also all have their own little side mm -hmm. passions. Dreams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so early on, Jake said i think i mentioned it earlier that when josh is ready to do film he'll pause his music to go help josh with film very cool um so i know that's out there i know that danny and josh um have worked on music together um and have uh, things that they want to do mm -hmm. i know sam has other things that he's worked on um i'd like to see jake and i think he, he might be playing with it in his head um do a little solo career mm -hmm. where he can actually, yeah, flourish lend his with own that. voice to, yeah. to his music. Um, so I, I, so I think that they will probably do other things at some point. Um, but at the band, I, I don't think we'll ever break up. Yeah, and might always just continue to dabble. I don't know that it would ever even just yeah end. They might, you know. Take breaks or Take whatever. Breaks and yeah. Come back and that's when we get a reunion tour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so last question. Who is the better singer? Well. Okay. For the band now <laughs> and the music they play now, yeah. it would be Joshua because it's mm -hmm. been customized for his voice. Right. You know, they write for that voice. Um but there were times when, when Josh, we talked about them arguing in the, yeah. in the garage, right? So there were times when Josh said, just screw you. <laughs> I'm not in the stupid band. See ya. And he'd walk out of practice. And the others would go, uh, he'll be back, but we got to practice. So I'd hear Josh singing and go, oh, I guess he went back. Wait, no, he's over there. Oh, <laughs> that's Jake. So Jake wow. can sound like that. Jake has the same vocal cords, evidently, right? I don't... Yeah, well, yeah. <clears throat> um, but he also has a, a really great voice just when it's him and his guitar. It's a very authentic... Um, I don't know how to describe it. He's a great singer. Uh, it, it's just... It's, it's not flourishy or mm -hmm. fancy, but it's very authentic and true to what he's yeah. saying, the, the, the lyrics of what yeah. he's playing. So, well, hopefully he'll so bust that out. So who's the best well, for this band and the music they write now? Josh. Josh. But he's pretty Jake, awesome, Jake too. actually has a fantastic voice and a great range. So That'd be cool. Well, we'll hopefully see. we'll get to hear more of that. I hope so. I keep pushing for it. Woo! You know? But, you know, who am I? <laughs> Just mom. Just mom. Just mom. Wow, you did such a good job with all of those questions. Every single one and all six feet apart and everything. That's right. <laughs> That's we right. are behaving ourselves as bad as I want to give you a hug. Like, Well, yeah, and I get, that, that was the hardest thing when I got here. Yeah. It was like, oh, Melissa. Ah! Just a song. High five. Air five. Air five. Air five. Well, uh, we think it's incredible that you popped out twins. I mean, right off the get-go. Did Is that running your family? How'd you have twins? Um, No, it... Uh, it doesn't run in my family, although my great grandmother had identical twin sisters. Um, when, when I got pregnant with twins, since there was nobody in my immediate family, my grandmother, I was like, How, "How'd that happen?" <laughs> so, 
fraternal twins are two eggs, and that is um, hereditary. Oh, okay. So you're, if it if it's in your family genes to drop two eggs at a time, that happens. Then that happens. So okay. that's where you get the you know families that have lots of twins. Okay. That's hereditary, and it's usually it's fraternal. Um, and then it's just like any other sibling. It's it's um, you don't share share genetics. It's yeah. just like a. a your brother and you mm-hmm. just at the same time. Um, with the identicals, it's the same egg. Oh. And it just does an extra split. Wow. And they don't know why that you get the extra split. Um, but then you, it's actually the identical genetic material. Yeah. It's the same genetics. And it's just two of them. They're like clones. <laughs> and that's what happened to me. That's what they are. The So, so I don't know. The, I don't know what the did good it. lord or a higher power or whatever it was slapped some amazing vocal cords in that egg and then was like, you know what? We should have two of those. There you go. We should have. <laughs> we should have two. Let's make two of those. <laughs> well, we got well, you. Gee, thanks. We, we, we got you a little something. I know it's not your birthday, but it is the birthday of you popping out two humans that were not C-section. So that's pretty incredible. And I, you know, as long as I've known you, you've never been like over the top girly about anything. I talk about my glitter lips and you're like, oh, good Lord, keep that glitter away from me. And you just are always down to earth. And, you know, you're just right there, a matter of fact person. And so I thought, what would be more fun than to get you a high heel that you never have to wear? Well, that is an awesome idea. And it's got feathers in it. Oh, is that cool? (laughs) And my mom actually oh. made it. My mom is amazing with crafts, and she had those cool feathers. And I was oh, like, "Mom, I love the let's get her a high heel. She never has to walk in." See, and I love that shoe. I wish, <laughs> I wish I could wear that shoe. Oh, I'm God. just too klutzy to put on a heel. <laughs> well, now, oh, well, that's wonderful. Thank you. You know, someday with your grandkids, you could be like, "That's a shoe I almost mo- wore once." That's right. <laughs> I dreamt of wearing this once. <laughs> But I had nowhere to go, so I didn't. Well, and with all your concerts that you are going to, and I know someday we're going to be back out into concert land. It's so hard to carry a purse and all that stuff, so we got you this, too. This should work perfect for all your little things. You can just pop it on your wrist. Oh, is that cool? Yeah, just a little wristlet. Put your ID in there and your phone and rock and roll. Look at that. And my phone will fit. Oh, yay! And my tickets and the lipstick that I don't yeah. wear. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And it's a rose. It's a rose. Yeah. Yeah. Aw. Well, thank you. I, you're welcome. I feel silly because it's not my birthday. No, anything, you're so sweet. You're, thank hey, you. Hey, this is our thousand subscriber party, Karen and I, and she has so much to do Yay. with us hitting a thousand. Thank you so much. I know... I know other people have asked you guys for interviews, and you stick to doing these interviews with me, and I appreciate it. Like, it means a lot to me. And we love you. I I love you. Oh, you're so sweet. And anything that anybody knows, anything that has to do with comedy, like, Karen was there right in the beginning pushing me along and like, hey, try out this venue. Do this one. And (laughs) and go into bat for me. That's because that's an amazing gift I don't have. (laughs) It's like, whoa, I would if I had that, I'd go ahead. Let's yeah. do this. Yes, this is great. Yes, you can do it. Well, I think you're awesome, and I appreciate you. And thanks for chatting with us today about the boys. Oh, absolutely. It was fun. Happy absolutely. birthday, boys. Happy birthday, boys. <laughs> Later, everybody. Bye-bye.